Hello, and welcome to the show. Today, we are looking at how long it would take us to travel through space to reach different parts of our solar system. There are a lot of factors that can alter our travel and arrival time, so let's start there and then plan our next trip off this rock. So, a few things first. When we are planning a launch into space and have a specific destination in mind, we have to plan it all out in advance, well before the launch. Everything in the solar system is constantly moving. This means that we have to understand where everything is and will be by the time we get out there. We have to plan the specific launch time and speed along with how the gravity of something like the sun could alter our speed and path. This means our path is often in a somewhat elliptical orbit, also known as Hawman transfer orbit, which looks like this. When NASA sent its most recent rover to Mars in 2020, it took about seven months and around 300 million miles to get there. Based on how Earth and Mars orbit the sun at different speeds and distances, the most efficient trip means we have to wait 26 months for ideal positioning to send out another shuttle. Otherwise, we have to plan for a longer trip, which may require more energy to get there. An example of this is Mercury. We have made the trip to Mercury in as little as five months when just passing by and more than six and a half years when planning to enter its orbit. Because the sun is so close, its gravity causes the shuttle to move even faster the closer it gets. So we have to circle Mercury multiple times in an attempt to slow down, and this adds a lot of time to the trip. Since we have all these complications and factors that come into play, let's just keep everything as simplified as we can. So. Based on past trips and estimations, this is how long it will take to reach everything in space in our solar system. And all these distances are at their closest points to Earth. Mercury would be 6.5 years, or 48 million miles. Venus, 15 months, 38 million miles. And the Moon, that's just three days, or 240,000 miles. Mars, seven months or 33.9 million miles. Jupiter would be six years and 365 million miles. Saturn, seven years and 746 million miles. Uranus, 8.5 years and 1.6 billion miles. Neptune is 12 years and 2.7 billion miles. Pluto, 9.5 years and 2.66 billion miles. The inner edge, of the Kuiper Keeper Kuiper belt is 13 years, roughly 3 billion miles away. The Oort cloud is 388 years and 4.6 trillion miles. Okay, our brains can't really comprehend trillions of miles. Breaking it down to years kind of helps, but for everything beyond this point, we need to move at light speed to really make anything achievable in a lifetime but that is way beyond our possibilities right now. So we can save that for another episode, I guess. <laughs> to learn more about how fast Earth and the solar system and our galaxy are moving through space, watch this video here. And as always, thanks for watching and what did you learn today?